Hello and welcome again. This is Shobhan Sen with Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 Made Easy Tutorials. This is part number four. In this part we will discuss cropping again but cropping in fancy shapes like elliptical shaped cropping or circular cropping and various other fancy sh shapes. Let me start by elliptical cropping. <coughs> you uh, choose this elliptical, uh, elliptical selection tool on here and uh, that will uh, enable you to give uh, make a elliptical selection. See on the bottom of the screen this is the elliptic, elliptical marquee tool and we have selected that and keep the aspect ratio at normal and then you click anywhere in the picture and draw, draw a line like so. So we made an elliptical selection. You can move the marquee to your desired position. And now that you have made this selection, you have to inverse the selection. I'll show you. Go to select, choose inverse, and you'll notice the selection has been inversed meaning the rest of the area has been selected. Now hit the delete key. See, this uh, you are left with a elliptical cropping. Now if you want to discard a extra white area, all you can do is just select the regular cropping tool and make a, re sorry, like so. Now you can adjust this little bit just keeping the I'm trying to do it fast so I'm not that accurate but you can take your time move the marquee a little bit to touch the edge of the ellipse here like so and on this side like so and then hit this uh, green check mark to commit the selection and now you have a nice selection. So let me discard this and let me show how to do a circular cropping. You use the same elliptical marquee tool here but this time in this aspect box on the bottom instead of normal choose fixed ratio and then you go like this and see a circular box has been created and if, if, if uh, circular selection has been made in other words again go to select inverse and then hit the delete key on your keyboard and you got that cropping so we have covered elliptical and circular cropping now let me show you some other fancy shapes. I'll take another picture for the sake of variety. And this time we'll use the cookie cutter tool that's here on the bottom of the toolbox here. Uh, look on the left, uh, the, the bottom most thing where my mouse is placed, the cursor is placed, that is the cookie cutter tool. Click on that. And that will give you various shapes. The one already a fancy, what you call a smiling face is selected. Let's just use this for the sake of fun. This is just for doing fun. You can make greeting cards and any other fun kind of stuff. Normally you don't need this fancy uh, cropping, but if you want to do fun, if you want to be creative, then Adobe Photoshop Elements offers you these options. So we, are, we have selected this cookie cutter tool, we have selected this uh, what you call the smiling face here and just draw a line here, see it has created this selection with a smiling face. You can of course move this around, let us say you want it like it that way or if you want to move it around anywhere else there and then hit the green check mark here on the bottom of this. Uh, selection box and there 
you have a fancy shape done. Let, let's do one more thing uh, with the fancy shape. This cookie cutter tool actually gives you hundreds of different options uh, to make fun with. See the uh, on the top of this box here, you can choose any one of these various things uh, and it, it you'll get various shapes. Let's choose animals here. Let's choose this bunny rabbit. Suppose we want to create a selection uh, or we want to crop your this picture with a rabbit shape thing. So let's go like this. See a rabbit has been created. We can move along this rabbit of course and we can enlarge the rabbit if you want. Just drag the corners here. And that's a fun shape. Don't you think this is a real fun thing? And when you are happy with the selection, just click this green check mark to commit the selection, to finalize the selection. I will increase it a little bit more. Yeah. To include as much of the picture as possible. And click on this green check mark on the bottom of this bunny rabbit. There. And this is a fun shape that we have just created. So the, the possibilities are numerous. If you master your Photoshop elements, you will be able to do a lot of fun things. So today I'll complete my lesson right now. And we will continue with the tutorials next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.